Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Ellery here. Um, I know some of you guys take the long intro, so I'm gonna get right into showing you how I created this, you know, colorful mermaid eye nude lip. And um, if you guys like what you see, <laughs> keep watching. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so this is what the eye is going to look like. Once I finish this side, I'm going to start by priming my eye with Urban Case Primer Potion, the original shade. For my transition shades, they are all going to be from Makeup Geek Cosmetics. The first color I'm going to use is Creme Brunette, and I'm going to use a blending brush by Sigma. If you don't have a lot of space in between your legs, um, you can use two transition colors, like you don't have to use color colors. You can just start probably with a color like this, which is like a dark color, it's called Little Bear. You can start with that color first and kind of just blend it and make sure you use some space in your brows so you don't have any darkness in your brows. But you don't have to use color transition shades if you don't have any space. Okay? But if you do, the more the better sometimes. So today I'm just going to use that four. First color, as I said, is and I'm just going to tap that in the brow area. It's going to help me blend the next color. Now that I have that there, I'm going to go into a darker color. This color is called Cocoa Bear. And I'm going to go right underneath, kind of blend those two colors into each other. Now you don't want it too dark too early, so start off light and then when you need to blend everything into each other, it's probably going to get a little darker. So. so before I have that get too dark, I'm going to add my next color. My next color is called Bitten. Looks like this. this is one of like my favorite crease colors from me. I just found my Makeup Geek eyeshadows like today. And I was like, oh, there we go. <laughs> guys. I'm going to use Morpheus in 506 brush. And oh my gosh, it's like outside. I'm going right into my crease, starting the outside, and I am just going to gradually build this color into the other colors. Once I get higher up, I use like very thin pressure to kind of sweep over so that it's not so sharp. And then to make sure everything is blended, you want to just kind of keep going back and forth with the brushes and the colors just to make sure everything is just like blended, you no know, choppy areas. And sometimes that requires you to keep going back and forth with the colors. You know, that's the process for blendization, you know. So I'm just going back and forth and kind of just making sure they're all like in formation. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the crease alone for a while. I'll get back to it. I'm about to like it right now. For the lid, I've used the Lancome Extreme Longwear Eyeliner in Pacific. These are waterproof. As you can see, I washed my hands several times and I was trying to decide what I was gonna wear, and this has not came off. The eyeshadow did, but not the liner. So. And then on top of it, I'm going to use Jouer Cosmetics Dreamer Eyeshadow from their Mermaid Collection. I wanted to make this color really pop, so I tried to add a similar color underneath it. Yes, sure. Yes, sure. And I'm going to put this all over my lid. So once you have that all over your lid, I took a flat brush. This one is from Dose of Colors, it's a concealer brush. And I'm just going to make sure that the liner is even by just tapping it over my eyelid. And once that is done, I'm going to go into Dreamer by Jouer and tap that all over the liner. I have foundation stuff on, so I'm going to tilt that head so you don't get no fallout on your face. Now I'm using the same brush I used to add Bitten and I'm just going to blend the transition a little bit. Going back into my crease and adding a little bit of mocha, it's a darker color. Like after I did this, I was like, no, I need a little bit more dark, a little bit more dark into the crease. So I grabbed this brush with those colors. It's a pencil brush. 
and I kind of just twirled the brush into the shadow and kind of lined the crease like darken it up just a bit. Okay, and lastly for this crease area, I'm gonna go back with Bitten and I'm gonna kind of blend out that darkness a little bit and drag it into the outer V of my eye. Just a little bit. Okay, so now we're gonna get into this lash line. For the waterline, I use one of my favorite pencils from LA Girl. Besides the black one, what happens with this one? It is called Paradise Purple, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, Paradise Purple. And I'm gonna heavily line my waterline. Then I'm gonna grab Catalan, Cat, Caitlin Rose. I know this doesn't. Kate, Cat. Just, just look. This color. <laughs> I'm feeling so illiterate sometimes, but I, I was like the spelling bee champ, and I just, you know, for some reason can't read all the time, you know? I'm gonna grab Caitlin Rose by Makeup Geek and another pencil brush. This one is by uh, MAC. And I'm going to buff this into the purple before it dries, kind of blend it out. And after I have enough of that color, I'm gonna go back into Bitten and kind of go right below that and blend it into this outer area region. I'm going right underneath the purple and kind of dragging it out towards this outer V area. It's gonna kind of mix in the purple and the Bitten and then everything is just gonna like, you know, come together. So I'm not going to do a wing liner, I'm just going to do a really thin line on my upper lash line just to help blend in my falsies. This is Tarte's uh, Double Take Liner. And then I'm going to have my falsies. I'm wearing Pixie Lux. You want to get some extra blendization, go back over the lash band with some liner, and that'll help you seal the lash band more. And then I decided this look was still too boring for me, so I went and grabbed some glitter. This one is called Crystal Gold Mix you know, Liner Glitter. And I just kind of just dusted it on my lower lashes. And uh, yeah, that was it for you guys. I'm gonna move on to the rest of my face because I have I don't have any blush or any type of highlight one right now. So for my blush, I'm gonna use no, I'm just gonna grab Old Faithful Amber and Rose by Mac. I'm gonna grab Sigma's blush brush lightly tap this onto my cheeks and for my highlight I'm gonna use two new highlighters that I haven't used before I'm gonna first use this cream one it is from pure cosmetics sunkissed glow strobe highlight palette and I'm gonna grab what color is this one? Uh, I think this is called dusk this one right here I'm just gonna use my finger and slightly raise this over the top of my cheeks. If you like more of a natural highlight and you don't like to you know, do too much like most of this highlighter edits, you can really just use this one by itself. But sometimes, every once in a while, I like to use cream. Now I'm gonna go into Violet Moss's Pro Highlighting Powders and I'm going to dip it into Unicorn Luster. Actually, I'm gonna go with Star Glow, which is this little powder right here. So this is like more of your natural sleep, and this is more of your like, <laughs> look at me, you know what I'm saying? And I forgot, but I also added this to the inner corner of my eye over here. Okay, 
And finally, got to do something about these lips. Like, they need some love. So for the lips, I'm going to use ColourPop Cosmetics K Liner. Just a little bit of this to darken up this liquid matte lipstick, new from the Motives Mavens line. Check the description box for a discount on all things Motives. This one is in the shade Daddy's Girl. There you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, and one more thing I want to ask you guys. In the comments, please let me know. Do you prefer backgrounds or do you prefer this mess behind me? Because I really hate pulling out my background. But if you guys like that look better than this chaos, um, just say background, no background, or I don't care. Like, tell me, because I want to satisfy you guys. I want to do videos that you guys like to see, so that matters to me. I want to know you guys' opinion. So, if you want the backgrounds, comment background, no background, comment no background. Or if you don't care, say you don't care, and I'll go with the majority. But I really want you guys' opinion, because if I don't have to bring up another background again in my life, I'd be happy. So, uh, <laughs> I'm fine either way, honestly. But I'll do whatever you guys want me to do. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and liking this video. If you haven't already, that's like your hint. So like, kind of, kind of do that real quick. Hit the like and, and subscribe. If you don't mind. <clears throat> and so next time, love you guys. Mwah. Excuse this squeaky chair. Like you're gonna hear it throughout. I'm not cooting. The side. Um. My lips are chapped. Every time I see this nail, I get irritated. Like I wanted my nails to all be the same. I wanted them to be gold, like this. You probably can't see it, but they're gold glitter. And the nail tech is like, no, no, add something different right here. So I have like blue glitter on just one nail, and the rest are like gold. Like why did I let him do that? And it's gel, so I can't take it off. Like, anyways. So I'm gonna write. <clears throat> okay, if I mess this up one more time. How I would create it, but and so next time, okay. You didn't want me to finish my sentence? That's cool. Ellery here. Shit, leave me alone. Like, vibrate. That's what I should have did. Vibrate. All right. This rain is so disrespectful right now. Like, like why? This is so unnecessary. I definitely won't be out there today. Thank God for Postmates. And look. It's been, what, 10 minutes since that storm? Look at this. It was just a tornado, and now the sun is out. This highlighter is really stupid. There's no reason. There's no, re there's no reason to glow this damn much. Like, why? Why is this necessary? What was life before highlight? Like, what was I looking like? What were we all looking like without highlighters? Like, basic? Like, Like, I don't remember life before a highlighter. I don't. It was probably very boring and dark. Now it's just like the sun just on my face. I'm brightening up days today. Like if it starts raining again, if I walk outside, they'd be like, the sun is so bright. Where's all this rain coming from? Oh, <laughs> my bad. That's just her highlight. Silly me.